Welcome! In this video, Glenn KC3CNT shows us the K42CW keyboard. Crafters.com, solder together, and what this little guy will do is it will decode CW. It will, you can type in your CW. You can set up a set of macro keys so you can basically have it set up, hit F1 and it sends out pre-recorded CW. Um, so, so I've brought the box, a keyboard, a couple of cables, and the instructions for assembly and operation, and just everybody stop by and have a look-see. Here's it. How long did it take to put that together? Uh, I probably put about eight hours in it. I'm not the best at it. But, um, it, it the instructions are really cool because they have, you know, do this assembly, then test it, then do this assembly, and then test it. So by the time you get to the end, it actually works instead of what the heck happened. So, <laughs> so what's the company that does that? It's Ham Crafters. They have a number of kits. Um, so they're pretty, pretty cool stuff. How much is it? Uh, I'd have to look that one up, but I think it's less than 100. So, How do you hook it into whatever? OK, so you have an audio in for your radio. And then you have a paddle location, so you can hook, your, hook up your paddle. It'll do a gear as well. Simple power, 12 volts, your typical station. They recommend a PS2 keyboard because the USB keyboards typically demand more power and can cause problems. But you can get some low-end USB PS2 adapters, low power, that will work with it. And then it also has a key out for plugging into your radio, which I haven't actually figured out how to use yet. But have you tried the decoding? Like, I've seen those, like they decode machine sense CW pretty well. It but seems to do so reasonably well. Yeah, yeah. the human sense. I, I don't do CW yet, so I couldn't really, I mean, but it seemed to do reasonably well for what we sounded like people. So, being not totally. Does it have a memory so you, you can scroll back? Yes, so you can page back and page up and down through it. Oh, okay, it, good. It, it's, uh, you know, it's got two lines, but you can go back and forth and see what's what's going right. on. Does it auto speed? Does it auto speed the CWF to sort of tell it some of It seems to pick it up on its own, and then you can set what speed you want it to transmit at if you're using the keyboard. Well, that's it for now. Thank you so much for your time and interest. You can find out more about our Montgomery Amateur Radio Club by visiting our website, markclub.org.